Excuse me, can you say that again? If this sounds like you, you're not alone. Hearing loss is the third most common health problem in the U.S., with more than 48 million Americans suffering from it to some degree. Dr. Thomas Powers and Dr. Gus Mueller are here to discuss the causes and symptoms of hearing loss and the latest technologies available to help. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello. hello. Good morning, Carla. So I was pretty surprised to hear how many people are really struggling with hearing loss. Yeah, you know, there's there's been several surveys that have been used to to project this, and uh, you know what I find the most interesting is when we look at people who self-identify themselves as having a hearing loss, and then we project this out to the total population. Uh, we're looking and in, in the uh, 40, 45 million people, and you know what's disturbing is only about 20 percent of them are actually using uh, hearing instruments. So there's a uh, 80 percent of that population really isn't. Uh, they aren't doing anything. They know they have a hearing loss, but they aren't doing anything about it. Well, and let's talk about some of the latest technology, because I remember back from my grandfather days, I mean, it just seems like no one actually wants to use it. It was like, no, I don't need, I mean, but I know that technology yeah. has come a long way. Yeah, I think the technology, as well as just the size of the devices, is really something that's, uh, that's really made tremendous strides. Um, what you're seeing is smaller devices, more cosmetic, easier to use from a physical standpoint. And the second piece of it is the technology. Uh, they're all digital signal processors. We have automatic features that control whether you're in a quiet environment, a noisy environment. Um, it actually changes if you want to listen to music. Um, so it gets rid of feedback. It takes care of how much amplification uh, you should have, whether you're in a quiet or a noisy place. And, and even you can stream your your Bluetooth signal from your phone to your hearing aid. So these have really become much more than, than hearing instruments. They become a communication device. They're smart. They can be rechargeable. So, uh, you know, we've really tried at Siemens to, to make these just as simple and easy as we can to use and, and a lot of technology. Wow. Well, now let's talk about the causes of hearing loss. I think maybe some people just assume it's part of, um, you know, getting older and it's just old age. But are we seeing this in the younger population as well? Yes, I think we're seeing, uh, you know, a lot more younger uh, folks have hearing loss. It's, it's a combination, certainly, of the aging process. I mean, that's, that's one thing. We all are going to experience some hearing loss. If you've had noise exposure, either through recreational activities, hunting, you know, driving ATVs, um, and or listening to loud music, uh, we're seeing some higher incidence of hearing loss in younger folks that have been listening to their MP3 players, uh, maybe at a little bit you know, too loud of levels. So all those things accumulate and can cause hearing loss. There are some medically related issues which account for about 10% or so and that need to be treated medically or surgically, but the vast majority are, are what we would refer to as the normal aging process or noise, and those can be helped by, uh, by wearing hearing instruments. Well, and as we close here, maybe talk about the quality of life once you are able to use some of these new technologies and how it really can change your life if you're able to get some of that hearing back. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's interesting, Carly. The uh, people tend to put off getting hearing aids for seven, ten years, but once they have them, um, over 90% are highly satisfied. They report uh, that they, that they are more sociable, uh, that they they uh, they're getting along better with their families, um, and of course, there there's issues relative to cognitive decline and dementia that have been linked to hearing loss. So we hope with using hearing aids, we're also slowing down this pro process. So it it really does change a person's life. Uh, not just their hearing life, but their life. Yeah. Doctors, thank you so much. As we close, any one website we can go to find out more? Yes, you can visit usa.bestsoundtechnology.com, and you can get information about hearing loss and hearing aids and anything you need. Doctors, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Have a nice day. You too. We, of course, will put more info on our website as well, fox4morningblend.com. If you are planning a trip for the summer but aren't sure where to start with that planning, we have the perfect resource for you. Up next, how you can tailor your travel itinerary by starting with your local library.